let's give you a look into what sustainable, innovative global surgery looks like. No, it is not just going on international trips and doing surgeries. What we want to do, what we mean by sustainable, is teaching surgeons and surgical teams in resource limited settings to do surgeries on their own so they can do many, many more after we're gone. To teach new surgical skills and new surgical cases is oftentimes complicated and to send people in to do that is one way, although it takes a long time. So we are thrilled to be collaborating with innovative partners to bring technology to help us do that quicker, more efficiently, and more successfully. One of those partners is Dr. Lauren Siff and her amazing company, Surgical Ed VR, collaborating with Global Surgical Expedition. So this technology is a virtual trainer. What this means is inside this training system, this virtual training system that you'll get to see, we are training people to do incontinence surgeries for women who so desperately need it, but can't get it because of lack of access. So this trainer is a very cool system with not only a virtual headset that essentially replicates the anatomy and the surgical procedure, but a device that you practice operating through that provides haptic feedback. What that means is when we oftentimes do things in surgery, we have tactile feedback. We feel bones, we feel other tissue planes that allow us to know that we're in the right space. And when you just have a virtual headset in the air, it's hard to figure that out. It's hard to replicate those settings, but this device is different. So we're here in Belize. We're collaborating with one of our urologic partners to teach him, Dr. Freddie Rose, how to do urethral sling surgeries for women. And I'd like you to see what's going on. It is very cool stuff. somewhere. 